Garfield. Everyone knows the cat, but who's the person? James A. Garfield, our 20th president, was born on November 19, 1831 in a small log cabin in Ohio. Garfield was born to Abram Garfield and Elizabeth Garfield as the youngest of five children. Garfield worked guiding mills across the Erie Canal in 1833. Garfield attended Western Reserve Eclectic Institute and graduated in 1856 from Williams College. In 1857, he returned to the institute as a teacher of ancient languages. At age 25, he became the school's president. Later, he married Lucretia Rudolph and started a family of seven. He also studied law and became a minister, but he soon turned his life to politics. In 1862, Garfield was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Nine terms, Garfield represented Ohio's 19th congressional district. As a Republican, he sought a firm policy of reconstruction for the South. In 1880, he was elected into the Senate. Garfield became president in 1881. He was only president for 200 days before he was assassinated on July 2nd, 1881 in a railroad station. Wounded. Garfield lay in the White House for several weeks. On September 19, 1881, he, he died. died. Although Garfield wasn't in office for long, he left a lasting impact on America. He advocated agricultural technology, was an educated electorate, and supported civil rights for African Americans. Garfield was best known for his quote, things don't turn up in this world until somebody turns them up.